Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're going to take a little dive into what I would consider right now is the kind of soft spot of my bag, the part of um, my, my 14 clubs or 15 as it may end up being, that I'm really not sure about, and that's hybrid versus five wood. Yeah. You can't help but be slightly influenced right now by the amount of players on the PGA Tour playing fairly wood over hybrid. In store, Mikey, I would say we fit more hybrid more versus hybrid. Yeah. Uh, five wood. Yeah. So I, it's been a while since I've, I've really had a look at this. I've always really defaulted to hybrid, but I'm curious, is, is, am I missing out on something by not carrying the five wood? And popularity of a seven wood. Seven wood is another one that, that a lot of people are, are really enjoying. And um, I, you know, I can see obviously the merits for that. You can get you know, a little bit more, uh, little bit more height probably from the fairway woods. You can you know, attack some of those, uh, those greens that, that are maybe designed to receive a wedge because you can get that land angle super, super steep. So that's the type of stuff today that I'm interested in. I want to look at two heads specifically. There, I can't uh, deny I've been caught up in how many people are playing TSI 2. It's crazy. It's uh, the most popular fairway wood right now on the PGA Tour. And the TSI 3 hybrid, just shape-wise, if I was to draw up a hybrid, it would look like that. Yeah, yeah. I think that'll be the, the player's hybrid of the year, yeah. I'm calling it now. Yeah, I completely agree. So I want to focus a little bit on those, uh, those two today. Three wood for me is set, you know, you, you guys, by the time you watch this video, you'll have, you'll have seen the, the video where I kind of look at three wood and, and pretty much make my decision for the season. But in this, in this uh, spot where I have actually, I'm, I'm going to have three clubs that rotate into two spots. I'm going to have a driving iron. I'm going to have a hybrid and I'm, I'm going to have a potentially a fairway wood. Yeah. So I uh, want to try and figure out what those are. Love it. Okay. Um, let's start with, why don't we start with the hybrid? Okay. What's what I'm used to. All right. So your gamer, Mizuno CLK, uh, 22 degrees bumped down to lower. Mm -hmm. um, probably the hybrid that sits the most open in my opinion. Uh, and you put this in the bag really to replace the four iron last season. Um, yeah, it was a very specific role. I carried the long iron for off the tee. This was more of a weapon on a par five. Yeah. Uh, I found at my club that the, the semi-rough was, was not something you wanted to go in there with a long iron with, but you could get some joy out of a, out of a, a hybrid. So every, every par five at the course I play at, if I had a good drive or a, or a bad drive, not a bad drive, but an okay drive, would leave me still with a chance to get there in two. And, and this was a great little club for that. Yeah, yeah. But in the end, I kind of found myself uh, with some swing changes I'd made. I kind of, it softened too much, it spun yeah. too much. No so I'd like to get some, some of that spin away um, and, and try and get a little bit more output. So as I map uh, and gap out my bag for yardage, this doesn't really fit anymore. No. Um, so, so let's take a little look at those numbers. Get some baseline. Pretty normal right there. That would be a good one. Yeah. That would be, you know, that would be this club kind of at its best. Um, like you can see that one, carry 227, landed 231. That's what we're talking about, right? So nice, obviously high apex. You know, 4600 is a decent amount of spin. Yeah. Um, probably in probably five iron territory spin for me. So that's a little, a little bit more than I'd be used to. But I would say maybe 227 from a hybrid perspective, it's a, it leaves me a bit of a gap. If, if 265, 270 is my three wood carry, 230 is a little bit shy. But that would be a really good one. And that's the miss. That's the one we want to look at. Like you said, it's, it's, not the yardage you're looking for, especially no. at the, you know, you're mapping out the yardages you need for the golf course. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's spinny. It's, it's five iron territory and yeah. it's not giving you what you're looking for at all anymore. That second one was a perfect example. It wasn't a bad strike. Uh, I lost a little bit of ball speed, but it was, it was the spin that took it down to a 216 carry. And that's, that's too short. Yeah. That's, that's not, that's not what I need. Uh, 
need that to do. And that's what's making me think fairy wood because I know if I miss a fairy wood, it's probably going to go 230 yeah. on a miss, not not 215. Um, so that's what's kind of got me curious uh, anyway. So yeah, that's that's ex in those two shots, that has epitomised what this does. Yeah, all season for you. Yeah. All right, so option number one, TSI three. Mm -hmm. 20 degrees, set at C1, so 19 degrees. Yep. Same shaft, Ventus 9X blue. Um, playing around the same length, 40 inches. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, smaller, definitely a smaller profile of hybrid. Uh, again, we like we said earlier, I think it might be the player's hybrid of the year for sure. Um, so let's see what this guy does for you. Yeah, hoping this head shape being a little bit more a little bit shorter front to back is what pushes that CG a little more forward and that's what stops that spinny one. I'm hoping certainly that's the case. Good strike there. Honestly, I mean, I hope that strike shows because I, I kind of missed that one a little bit. Yeah. That is that is what I'm trying to get is more of that. Okay, so TSI three hybrid doesn't disappoint. That was really good. For, this is the first time I've hit it. Yeah. I, I haven't touched it yet. Matty's hit it and he loved it, but. Um, that was that was quite impressive. I mean, it, it hits the the spin window you're looking for. Your carry goes up. Um, you know, launch stays the same. Mm -hmm. A little bit quicker in ball speed, but I mean, like we said, it's super super consistent. I mean, it, you could. I mean, you could put that in the bag right away. It was yeah. really really nice, and it and it's exactly the numbers that you're you're wanting out of a, a three hybrid. And if I look at like on course performance, on course requirements. Lots of people think when you, so this is one degree less loft than the Mizuno. The uh, spin rate is down 750, give it or take. But look how much higher it is. Yeah. Because the ball speed is, is obviously more and we're, we've got half a degree more launch. I think people still associate spin with, with height. I gotta spin it more, I gotta hit it higher. I'm not, you know, I'm not doing enough with that. That's not the case at all, and that for me is something I'm trying to get elevation from these tricky lies. And to see that this can actually hit my number way more in terms of carry, but give me that apex and, and you know, angle of descent is still good, that's perfect for yeah. me. That's exactly what I, I want this club to do. Yeah, it's impressive. I like yeah. it. Yeah. All right, option number three TSI three, sorry, TSI two, 18 degree. Mm hmm. Um, the you know the five wood series of, of clubs I, I think these are easy forgiving like I think this is probably going we'll see a lot more five woods even seven woods this year in customers bags leaving the door I mean I'm putting a five wood in the bag I've never used a five wood before mm -hmm. I just think for forgiveness and, and easy to use and, and all around club but it's it's like a utility club yeah. I think this will be uh, this will be interesting to see the numbers so this one 18 degrees the and I'm not going to turn this one down, so there will be one degree of loft difference. But for those who have been following the last month on the channel, all that conversation about centre gravity, so obviously the, the wider body is, is where the, the centre gravity is allowed to be pulled back. That will tilt the dynamic loft up. I'm expecting the lower lofted club to go higher than and produce more launch yeah. and loft than the, the hybrid, even though it was one degree uh, more loft so uh, it'll be interesting the longer shaft offers you the ability to swing it a bit quicker I was saying to you you know one of my one of my kind of uh, needs I think at times is three wood is, is three wood for me is, is 270 with my old three wood we saw it in last test two, uh, 277 yeah so I don't really feel like I've got 245 in the locker with that hybrid but I feel like I could have it in, in the locker if I needed it with uh, with that little five wood. Definitely. So it's something that you know I definitely need to think about. So let's hit a couple. Sounded really good.
Okay, so interesting. It's kind of what we talked about off camera. We're worried it might go a little too far, mm -hmm. um, and it kind of defeats the purpose almost of what we're looking to get out of the the hybrid. I mean, it's not it's not a bad option. I just think it's especially for you of looking for that club to do almost one not one thing, but really a, a specific part of your bag. Yeah, that's where I find the the fairy wood's just going to go. A, it's too hot. It could, it could be. I mean, I can't, I can't honestly, I can't lie and say that I didn't enjoy seeing that high. I mean, again, we're talking about how much higher the uh, TSI three hybrid was than Mizuno. Look at the the next level of height again from Crazy. the fairway wood. I mean, it's it's up there. Um, gives you great stopping power. Uh, I really liked, to honest, I really liked that flight. Mm -hmm. It just might be a case of rethinking the bag a little bit then, if that's the case, because if we've got a 273 wood, you know, what's becoming a 245, these are carry numbers, right? So a 245, five wood, and then we, you know, we maybe do look at something in the uh, 225, 230 range uh, in there as well. So it, it, might, it, it might make a lot of sense um, to have that now. I wouldn't mind softening that spin just a little bit. Uh, so I think in, I'm thinking we might want to add one degree of loft yep. uh, to this guy and then, and then sort of retest it, see what it's like then. That was nicely struck. Mm -hmm. That's a good swing. Yeah. That was good. All right, so the little adjustment we made to TSI 2 in that C4 setting. Mm -hmm. um, Spin was a little lower. It just had that left shot in there that we don't love. I just I felt like I was making pretty good swings. If we go to even to the club data on that one, it, it, it felt like a pretty neutral swing. Yeah. Um, the path was you know a little inside. I was trying to kind of get my angle of attack down as much as I could. And actually, you could see the strike starting to gravitate towards the heel because I'm trying to kind of hold it off a little bit. You don't want to feel like you have to do that. No. And, I felt like I was getting there with that, um, and it, it was was not was not ideal. Yeah. So what we thought we'd throw in there is uh, Sim Two, knowing how well I got on with the um, three wood. It does have one more degree of loft on it as standard. It has 19, so that might actually play into our hands a little bit. That we can start with more loft and then open it. Yeah, that might actually play really nicely for us here. So let's and let's then hit a couple. Gamer shaft as well, TZ5. Yeah, then it allows me to kind of play what I play in there and be, be really comfortable. Okay. It's fine. Yes, it's getting a bit closer to the shape I want to hit it. Right, so interesting uh, add to the test, the SimTI 5 wood. Um, you know, same shaft that you're currently using, and mm -hmm. it's, that whole combo is really tightened up a lot of things for you. It spins to kind of the number where we want it. Um, that carry in total is, is super consistent, really tight. You're able to kind of hit the shot you want with this club. Um, as well as it, it kind of matches your, your three wood as well. So they, they kind of complement each other really well. Yeah, it sits in a nicer window, doesn't it? 252 carry, we're talking about a 273 wood carry. So about 20 yards between those at my kind of speed, that's what we would be looking for. And honestly, the biggest thing for me was just taking out left. Yeah. I, like I, I found it much, much easier to hit my desired shape with, with this model versus TSI 2 was, was really nice for a little draw. Which for me, if if I turn that into a little bit of a of a flippy one, I just I hate to see that one that goes left. Yeah. So 
I think most people will probably gravitate more to, towards something like TSI 2 that produces a draw, but for me, that's my danger spot and, and, I, and I want no part of it. Definitely. So, um, no, I'm really, really, really happy with that little, uh, that little sort of plug into that gap in my bag. Now it starts to make a lot more sense and I actually have to rethink the whole thing now because I didn't think I was going to be adding this type of club. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and my little chart that I showed you earlier, 245 was what I was thinking. So that was going to be either three wood, uh, sorry, three hybrid or, or, or wood. So it's just went a little longer than that, uh, which is nice. Definitely. And if we add to the comparison, the... Yeah, where we started. Where we started. It's a big difference. Yeah. It's a spin difference. It's a big ball speed difference. It's a height difference. It's, you know, it's a win in, in every which way. So, uh, what makes a lot of sense of where you really want to go through your bag again and maybe edit a few to the, few of those yardages that you're you're trying to hit because probably adding that five to the bag is is a yeah you'll need to relook at it and, and just reevaluate what exactly each club is going yeah okay um, so that took a little turn. That wasn't exactly what we set out to do. We kind of thought we were doing more of a three hybrid, five wood test, uh, TSI three, TSI two. But like in fitting, like we see in the bays every day, there's always a curveball in there. I just couldn't get what I needed to do and we had to go a different direction. That's what it's all about. What set up so well for me last year in terms of the two iron and the, the four hybrid is not really going to work anymore. And, and, and having identified some, some little holes in the bag, I think we've got a better plan now uh, for, for how to comprise the bag, how to kind of build 14 more functional golf clubs. Definitely, I think it shows year after year, you know, the equipment does change and everyone's bag kind of changes in, in certain goals. I mean, you have a goal to, you know, to, to plot out exactly to get you around the course and as low as strokes as possible. And I think we've, we've found the top end of the bag for sure. Definitely. Um, and as much as, well, equipment does does change and evolve slightly, but I think what, what is a bigger consideration is we change. Like, I'm not the same as, as the person that stood up there trying to hit those last year. There was a reason that that uh, hybrid worked so well. I've always been somebody who fights to get spin. Right. Now I'm kind of taking and trying to get some of that spin away because, like we saw in that, that hybrid test, I mean, 4900 is just not going to cut it. No. That's not ideal at all. Like I said, that's five iron spin for me, and that's you know, four iron carry distance, that's not what I need, uh, need it to do. So um, we do change and if you see yourself making some swing change, go have a, an evaluation, go and, go and set out to do a fitting and, and see if your clubs are still working well for you because it might lead you towards some, uh, some better decision making. Definitely. Good. Okay, guys, stay tuned for more. I need to figure out the next couple of clubs in the bag and how we're going to connect the irons to the woods. So, uh, we'll, we'll have a little think about that and that'll no doubt be on next week's video lineup. Exciting. Good stuff. Okay, stay tuned. We'll see you again soon.